by my own ministry. When I said the temple would be destroyed, I announced what will be my own death. Yet the stone which the builders rejected will become the chief cornerstone. He's, of course, was not helping his case, but adding fuel to the fire. Surely he knew this. Yet he also knew the divine plan, and he would deviate in no way from it. As Christians, we believe we understand the why, but what about the how? As in, how much do we know about loving God? Do we know how to love God? How fervently will we seek Him? Christ, as His passion intensifies, as He moves closer and closer to the approaching sacrifice 12 days hence. We seek God, but God seeks us too. To the point that St. Bernard said, God warmed His hands at man's heart when man prays. Yes, God is love, but it's also tough love. It can be tough love as in sending His only begotten Son to the cross for you and for me. We cannot bargain with Him. We cannot outbid Him. We can deny Him, but He will not deny us, and He certainly will not deny Himself. Perhaps the starting point of our thoughts, now and always, should be reflection upon line 10 from Psalm 46. Be still and know that I am God. I am. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Let's pray. I will give thanks unto the Lord my whole heart. O oh, do well unto, unto thy servant, that I may live, and keep thy word. Quicken thou me, O Lord, according to thy word. We offer the holy sacrifice to the great and glory of God in honor of all his saints, for the people of this parish, for all the faithful departed in Christ, and today especially for the soul of Lewis Cook, nephew of Antoinette Taylor. Rest eternal grant unto him, O Lord. 
May his soul and the souls of all the faithful depart at the mercy of God. Rest in peace. Amen. Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church. Almighty and ever living God, who by thy holy apostles taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, we humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept our alms and oblations and to receive these our prayers which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord, and grant that all those who do confess thy holy name they agree in the truth of thy holy word, and live in uni unity and godly love. We beseech thee also, so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers, that they may truly and impartially administer justice, to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace to heavenly Father, to all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may, both by their life and doctrine, set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. We remember especially Shane, our primate, Patrick, our bishop, Joe, our president, Tim, our governor, Charles of England, Alex, Barry, May of Charles, Jackson, Deborah, Eric, Faye, John, Karen, Catherine, Kyle, Leslie, Logan, Louise, Lucas, Lucille, Mason, Matt, Megan, Melody, Merlin, Michelle, Miranda, Norma, Pat, Paul, Peter, Rachel, Rising Sun, Sandy, Sandy, Sarah, Tamara, Teresa, Thomas, Travis, Joaquin, our U.S. military, especially Edmund and Jason, all victims of terrorism, infection, starvation around the world, the end of the Russo Ukrainian War, the Middle East War, the strike in the Congo, Sudan, and elsewhere. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear. Beseeching me to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to give us grace so to follow their good examples, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. He who do truly and earnestly repent you of your sins, and our love and charity with your neighbors, and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God and walking from men's forth in his holy ways. Draw near with faith, and take this holy sacrament to your comfort, and make your humble confession to Almighty God, devoutly kneeling. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed, by thought, word, and deed, against thy divine majesty, Provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us, we do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. The burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life. To the honor and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy and promised forgiveness of sins, to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and to bring you to everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what comfortable words our Savior Christ said, and to all truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. So God loved the world, and he gave his only begotten Son, 
to the end that all that believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Here also what St. Paul said, this is a true saying and worthy of all men to be received, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Here also what St. John said, if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. The Lord be with you. Yes, Lift up your hearts. Yes, Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. Yes, it's very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. Because of the wood of the cross, thou gavest mankind salvation, that so, once death arose, life might also rise again, and that the foe who by a tree had conquered, by this tree might be overcome through Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All glory be to thee, Almighty God, our Holy Father, for the thou of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, who suffered death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice, until his coming again. For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Hey, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you shall drink it, in remembrance of me. <clears throat> Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we thy humble servants who celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty, with these thy holy gifts, if you now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son has commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. Amen. We most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness, for sake to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we, receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we in all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls, and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee humbly beseeching me, that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with him, that he may dwell in us, and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this, our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, pardoning our offenses. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, 
<clears throat> by whom and with whom in the unity of the Holy Ghost all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> Pray that thou as our Savior Christ, Christ has commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. Power and glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us be seated, O Lord, for all you will pass present to come. And the intercession of the blessed glory is never virgin Mary, Mother of God. We have thy blessed apostles Peter, Paul, and Andrew, Aidan, Patrick of Ireland, and all thy saints, favorably grant peace in our time, so by the help of thy mercy, we may ever be got free from sin, and saved from all disquietude. <coughs> Through the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost liveth the reign of God, world without end. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. And consecration of our Lord and Jesus Christ, the oath of particular of the life eternal. Amen. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have grant us thy peace. We do not presume to come to this thy table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs on thy table. But thou art the same Lord, God it is always for mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed with his most precious blood, and that we may no more dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, the only one who takes away the sins of the world. Body and soul of everlasting life. 
Almighty and ever living God, we most heartily thank thee for the God that thou sake to feed us, who have duly received these holy mysteries, to the scourge of food, the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And thus assure us thereby thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members and corporate and invincible body of thy Son, which is the blessed company of all faithful people. And are also heirs to the hope of thy everlasting kingdom, by the merits of his most gracious theology of actions. And we humbly beseech you, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us in thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as are prepared for us to walk. 
Praise the Lord, Jesus Christ, and throne of glory in heaven, all the tabernacles of the world, and the hearts of his faithful people. And this is the most holy sacrament of the altar. Mm-hmm. We have the Lord, we down right now, all the birth of the Lord. Thank you for that. I don't know if that's him. 